The storyboard option has now been moved under the summary tab and in the ribbon in the summary you can find the storyboard under the export options. We click on the storyboard here and we can create a new storyboard. And what it will do, it will present all of the stations you have in your line balance right here or your process and you can select which one you want the storyboard to be developed for. In this case, I'm going to do it for the insert components, which is the one over here on the far right. I just select the process step I want the storyboard for. I click on the OK, and it will generate it for you directly here. Once it's been developed, you can go from the template tab over to the storyboard, and you can play it directly here. Now, the key thing about the new storyboard format is we now have an option back in here in the storyboard area where you can update an existing one. So what this means is if you save a storyboard, you can make changes to it and the changes will automatically be reflected and you'll get a complete revision history here. So if I go back to my storyboard here, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to save it. So I'll do a file and I'll save as, and I'm just going to put it into my temp folder here. And then here I'm going to just call it my SP demo. SP demo one, I give it a name here. So I've now named my storyboard SP demo one here. Of course, what I can do is I can go back to the template and I start to customize it. And so I can show you the effect of the uh, revision history. I'm going to actually come in here. I'm going to make it viewable, a little bit more viewable. I'll change it to 50% here. I'm going to add some pictures here. So I just click on it here. I'm going to insert some pictures. I'm going to take it from my gallery here. Here I'm going to put penguins. Now, of course, you would put your pictures of your process, your customized documentation, and so forth right here. Just make sure that any pictures fit the area here. I'm going to put the penguins here. I'm going to come down here, insert another picture. And let's pick the one of the, uh, the desert here. And again, make it fit the available space right here. So it's in there, and we'll do the third one here. So it's the penguins, the desert, and then for the third one here, we are going to put in the picture for the, let's say, the koala bear here. And of course, then if you go back to your storyboard and you click on the play, it's going to bring in the picture, first of all, with the penguins. And this is going to play for approximately nine seconds. And then it's going to switch over and show you the picture of the desert. So what we have here is we've created a customized storyboard here. And I'm just going to save it again. And then I'm going to close out of it. Now let's come back to the process again itself here. And what I'm going to do is we take a couple of activities from somewhere else. I'm going to say this get casing. I'm going to place it into my insert components and I'll take the mountain tray and place it up here too. So I've added two additional steps uh, to my process and therefore I want to update the storyboard. So I come up to my summary again. I go to my storyboard and this time what I'm going to do is update an existing storyboard. So we click on this. I select the process I want to update, the insert components again. And I'm going to go out to my temp folder to find the, uh, the information I'm looking for. And then it's right there, my storyboard demo one. I click on it. I open it. Give it a couple of seconds. And what it's going to do is going to insert those new steps into my process. And you can see here now what I have, I've got my storyboard, my template, and I've got this template z underscore zero zero one. This is the first revision of this. You can go back here, here you can see my penguins, my desert, and my koala bear. If I go to the template now, and I scroll up, you can see what I have. I have the uh, penguins, I have the new step that I added here. Here's my desert. And down here, I've got my next step, and then my koala bear. So it's automatically carrying forward any of the custom designs you make here. And that means if I go to my storyboard and I play it, of course, I get my penguins again. And then I'm going to get my new step coming over, the one I inserted. There it's right there, the get casing. That's going to be a very short one here. And then I'm going to get my desert. So in fact, what it's done is automatically maintaining a revision history of what you're doing right here. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here. I'm going to add another picture here so we can see it. So you say insert a picture. And let's see, I go and just pick up anything at all here from uh, my images folder here. And I'm just going to pick a uh, iPad JPEG. And we're just going to put that in. It's just a picture of something. It doesn't really matter what it is. I make it fit the available space here. And I slip it right in there. So I've got that one in there then. And then I'm going to save it. So I've updated my uh, SB demo one here. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove the step for the desert from my process. So I'm going to close out of this. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to take my insert components. I'm just going to move it somewhere else. So now that has been deleted here. And I'm going to do the same thing again. I go to my uh, summary area. I go to my storyboard. I'm going to update the existing. I select the process, insert components here. I find my storyboard demo one and I click on it. And now I'm going to have two revisions down at the bottom here. So here I am. So you can see my template now. Here's good template number one. This is my first revision. Here's the second one that had the, uh, the one inserted right here, the penguin, my new uh, document, my new picture, this one here. And now I'm going to go to my, temp my latest template. And here you can see the desert has disappeared from our process. This is in fact a tremendous time saving, the fact that it carries forward each of your storyboard formats. And of course you can play them all directly from here. And one of the nice tricks you can do here, since you have a complete revision history, you can easily go back. If you want to play a previous storyboard, you go back, you would rename these. So you, the storyboard that plays is always playing from the template. So if you wanted to go back and rename one of the other ones temporarily to template and give this another name, you can actually replay the templates over and over again. And of course, the idea then would be that you would be able to store them for recall as you wish and also make the videos so that you can make them available via the internet to anyone looking at your process.